can't wait to just lay in my dorm and relax and enjoy my day. Uh, we have some news today, don't we? Yes, that's right. Of course, Skull, we have some news. And of course, before we get started in today's news video, I would greatly appreciate it if you decided to use my code in game. Basically, like giving me free money. I really do appreciate it. And of course, yes, I'm not lying. I have an update as well as other things that I'm going to be talking about inside today's video. So, of course, let's get into it all. To get us started with our small bit of news, we actually received a new store icon inside our mirror inside our dorm rooms now. What are your guys' thoughts? Honestly, the logo kind of looks a little funny. You may not have noticed, but Recommend added these midnight butterfly wings inside the shop. Not to mention inside the shop, it says ho instead of our. Really small bug, and honestly, when people say I talk about pixels inside the rec center, things like this make me really feel that. Anyways though, we do have a new community board with new YouTube videos and new Instagram posts. I'm also pretty sure that our featured rooms just changed, so of course, be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts. Ah! Oh wait, no way, Tidal Wave beta on the board. That's awesome. Now yes, that's right, Requiem had an update, and of course, it's that time we cover it. Now inside this update, which is titled the Struck A Hand Pose Edition, we have full body avatar patch notes to talk about. They start off by saying, oops, we accidentally broke some hand poses for full body avatars. Here's some fixes for the camera, frisbee, and mug hand poses used across a variety of tools and let us know how they look. They fix some annoying bugs when using the Maker Pen while in full body, your hands still function when going to the smallest self-scale size, and lastly, your other hand won't be blocking your view anymore. On to the next bit of our update for general improvements and bug fixes. They changed the two-factor authentication login field type to numeric digits, so typing 2FA codes is now more convenient, especially on platforms like Android. They fixed the color of certain banners on the hope page. Ooh. Pretty. Fixed a bug where players had a chance to get stuck in the play door in orientation. Door stuck? What are these jokes? Fixed a bug where the charades pen becomes stuck in players' hands in VR. Fixed a bug where players were equipped a full body costume via circuits while it was being edited. Fixed a bug where room inventory do not sync in time in multiplayer instances. And lastly, fixed a toggling bug that could cause toggle buttons to be toggled multiple times when pressed in VR with other players in the room. Now you'll be able to toggle correctly to your heart's content. And oh, that's so cute. And they did this little portion for the experiments tab where they talked about starting an experiment with the new invention creation menu. And we'll talk about that. Players have been noticing that inside their Maker Pen Palette UI, they're seeing this new downloaded carousel where they basically shows them all their downloaded inventions. Then they see another carousel that says store, which allows them to see inventions that they can actually buy on the store. And honestly, having to, you know, go out of your palette and switch onto your UI for this type of stuff honestly sucked. This is kind of a W experiment in my opinion, and I kind of wish that I have this one. And that was our update. Be sure to let me know if you guys liked this week's update and if it's a W or an L. But remember how last video I was talking about that staff party that, you know, Requiem staff had? It turns out that the creators that were actually taken to the staff party had actually received a lot of merch than I initially thought. DJI Core had reached out to me, wanted to show me all the merch that he had actually got from their actual trip. As you guys can see, they got stickers, they got a shirt, they got pins, they got lanyards, they got a little cassette tape, Rubik's Cube, sweat gear, sunglasses, notebooks, bags, and even a water bottle. Whole bunch of merch that I wish I could buy, but sadly I can't. It sucks, it sucks. But of course, it's super cool and I would totally buy it, and be sure to let me know if you guys would too. Now a little bit of community news real quick. Now when I say the word lizard, two things may pop up in your head. One, nothing at all, or two, an old Rec Room YouTuber that you may have watched before. Well it seems like lizard has been making their rounds again on social media, and it seems like there's actually a lizard Instagram account now, and hopefully Lizzer is making his return. If you guys don't know who Lizzer was, he basically was an old, old Rec Room YouTuber, and he had ceased making YouTube videos and stuff like that. Be sure to let me know if you guys used to watch him or not. Now, there was some developer talk inside the Rec Room Discord server, because players were talking about how the player would kind of get, you know, on their tiptoes or stand straight whenever they would do a hand gesture or even opening up a watch. Rec Room developer Dan Banan had this to say and said, we have unique animations for each item you can hold, and gesture you can make that was made in parentheses often many years ago by recording someone in VR. For full body avatars, we take the head and hands and stick them onto the animated body by adjusting the body to the new positions. If the head is a bit too high for the full body avatar, they go tiptoeing. We are going to go through these and make small adjustments to fix them, got most of the common weapons and items updated, but there's still many to go. Bear with us as we slowly roll out improvements and keep reporting oddities. Thanks! Anyone asked if they have any plans to fix the bug where the screen mode registers full body avatar's eyes as being on the forehead, Dan Banan says, I hope so. If you got a funny pic to post that, that will bump up the priority and I'll make sure Max got it on his radar. 
And when asked if they're going to correct the position of the hands when the character is sitting on a chair, it's been confirmed that knee bending should get better with the scaling work almost completed. It should be ready soon and seats are going to be getting some attention next. I'll make sure to pay more attention to the hands and to even gave him a little thank you for reporting. But of course, that's not all the news that we have inside today's video. Enough of this developer stuff, we actually have some Gala stuff to talk about. Titled The Creator's Gala, and now basically, Rec Room Creators have received this email from Rec Room saying this. Hello Rec Room Creators! First off, we want to thank you for making Rec Room what it is today, and everyone receiving this email has contributed through making magical experiences in Rec Room, creating games people love to play, teaching others how to build and create, sharing their best art or video content, or helping ensure their platform is sustainable in the long term. We appreciate you all. I am writing today to invite you to the Academy, an elite group of Requiem players and creators to help us decide the best of the best Requiem content for the past year of July 1st, 2023 to June 30th, 2024. Nominations for the best rooms, inventions, art, avatar items, and creators are open from now until 9am PDT on August 5th, 2024. After we sort through the nominations, you'll be able to vote on the top 5 nominees, and we will celebrate the results together at a gala event in Requiem on September 29th. 2024, where we'll give out our new awards, the Golden Buckets. Mmm, this popsicle is good. <sighs> Anyways, uh, um, did you know I have channel memberships? Now what's a channel membership? It's basically a Patreon and people pay for perks every single month so they can get their perks every single month and one of those perks are being shouted out in all my videos. So let's get it rolling. We have a ton, so of course, massive shout out to Alteral2, Luffy, Abby, Young Creator, Chazzy VR, Jordan the Wolf YT, Dead Channel, BFG on VR, Hat Classy, Dino Play, Nat the Pup, Eslos Minia, Carl the Skunk, Hockey Boy, Turkey, Jack Tutorial, Ghastly, Garlic Bread, It's Fetty RR, Dozer Blade Cat, BB Burning Owl, Bucky Guy, Yoshi, Shaky Raphael, Cloud, Netflix Design, and Box David. <sighs> That is a lot. Anyways though, thank you guys for all the love and support, and of course, I appreciate you Squidleans as well. Now let's get back to this video. Now yes, this is a new program called the Creators Gala, and it's sort of just like, you know, a reward show for Requiem Creators. We haven't seen any official images or anything like that, so I wouldn't really call it like the roomies yet, but of course, we'll just have to wait and see. From what I've seen, it seems like it's just a normal Google form that Requiem Creators have that are able to vote on their favorite, you know, creator, invention, art piece, you name it. And with all the images that you guys can see on the screen, this is what top creators will be using to rank the best of the best content on Rec Room. This whole creator gala thing is pretty new and we haven't gotten any official word from, you know, Rec Room developers or anything, but creators have been talking about how they've been receiving this email. Have you gotten this email? And be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts. Now, of course, there will be more news about the creator gala and stuff like that. And of course, leave a comment down below on how you are feeling about it. And if you are top creator voting and don't know who to pick, you should totally pick Sushi. This is, I was not paid for this. They've done amazing work and I've seen some of their work personally with all their concepts and stuff like that. If you guys are voting this year, you guys should totally vote Sushi as the top creator. I want to give massive shout outs to everybody that is watching to this point of the video. I really do appreciate it so, so, so much. And of course, if you want to see more silly Rec Room news content that I decide to make, you guys can check out other videos that I've made on that side of the screen already. Like and subscribe, people. And of course, 